right guys what's going on welcome in so still kind of dealing with this tooth uh situation so if i sound a little bit different that's the reason why but in any case uh adam Schefter of espn just had running back dalvin cook free agent running back dalvin cook on his podcast and he basically said that not only is he interested in teaming up with deandre hopkins but he would also uh, encourage it, right? He would welcome it. That's something that he would want. He would want to happen. In fact, he actually had a couple quotes saying that it would be something epic for the NFL, and kind of just went on to talk a lot about Hopkins just as a player, as a person. He feels like they would not only just be great teammates together, but he would enjoy playing with a guy in D Hop. Now, the reason why this is, um, you know, relevant here is because Dalvin Cook has been linked to the New York Jets the Miami Dolphins, and the Buffalo Bills. DeAndre Hopkins has been linked to the New England Patriots, actually just wrapped up a visit with them, uh, and the Buffalo Bills, along with some other teams like the uh, Chiefs, the uh, Tennessee Titans as well. They've I actually wrote a report the other day where the Titans actually formally gave Hopkins uh, a contract offer. So there is at least one solid offer you know, out on the table for D-Hop. But the point is, we have four teams within the AFC East that are vying for either one of these guys, or in some cases, both. And with Dalvin Cook being extremely open to this, you know, idea here, could we see a situation where, you know, God forbid the Buffalo Bills end up with DeAndre Hopkins and Dalvin Cook? I mean, this is, we're, this is, we're in June right now. We're in mid-June. You're telling me a division rival, a team that's already stacked, a team that's already projected to make the playoffs, can get one of the best running backs in all of football, teaming up with his brother, by the way, and James Cook, and add DeAndre Hopkins to be that number two complimentary guy to Stefan Diggs. I know there's like tons of, you know, different, uh, like weird reports coming out of Buffalo with Stefan Diggs and, you know, uh, how much he's being targeted and wants to, you know, it's just a weird, weird situation that's going on with Diggs. Uh, but I mean, that this is this potentially could be a real thing now. Of course, money plays a big, big factor, and this is kind of the one thing that's keeping me uh, from going insane tonight. These guys aren't asking for one year, one million dollar deals. That, that that's not the case, right? Cook wants a significant contract. DeAndre Hopkins wants a significant contract. It's not going to be something that's just hammered out, you know, no problem. Oh, yeah, one year, two mil, one year, one mil. Let, let's, you know, make it to the Super Bowl. Not the case. That, that's not what is happening right now. So I don't foresee, right, and I'm really hoping I'm not right here, but I don't foresee a situation where both of these guys wind up on, you know, the same team within the next couple of weeks here. Unfortunately, though, I could see Dalvin Cook going to like a team like Miami, DeAndre Hopkins going to a team like New England, or, you know, however it works. Dalvin Cook going to the Jets, Hopkins going to the Bills. The point is the AFC East, we have four teams here that are interested in two impact players, two guys that could come in and help really, not an over-exaggeration, take a team further into the playoffs. I believe that all four teams in the AFC East have a chance of making the playoffs this season. I, you know, I, I know there's some, uh, there's a lot of people down on the Patriots and, and I get it, right? I, I get it, but I think we can't underrate the swap of Matt Patricia to Bill O'Brien. I think that's going to be huge. And also looking at some of their acquisitions like uh, Christian Gonzalez, a corner, Juju smith Schuster, wide receiver. I, I think, new, and we can never rule Bill Belichick out. That, that That's one thing that I've kind of, you know, unfortunately have uh, came to realize after all these years of rooting against the Patriots, you can never just count them out and just say, oh yeah, the Patriots, look at the roster, ah, they're horrible. They always have these guys step up. They have these guys, you know, grow through the Patriots systems, grow through the Patriots culture, and they uh, come out of nowhere, right? I mean, we can go down the list of all these guys that just develop and grow and, and blossom and have these great years seemingly out of nowhere. Guys that like are on nobody's roster, uh, nobody's uh, radars, excuse me. So, uh, man, Dalvin Cook, DeAndre Hopkins, where are these guys going to go, right? I want to hear your take down below in the comment section. Where do you think, just, you know, gut reaction, instant reaction here. If you had to make a decision, 
where D-Hop, where Cook are, are going to wind up. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I, I think for me, if I had to be 100% honest, I'm going to say Dalvin Cook to the Dolphins. And I think DeAndre Hopkins, either the Chiefs, either the Chiefs or the Patriots. But that, that's just my take. Not saying I'm right or wrong, just my opinion here. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching and, you know, dealing with... Uh, me kind of sounding different and stuff like that. I know it's a pain, but uh, yeah, thanks so much. And as always, go Jets.